This is my Colpin Stealth Exhaust with Heat Shield review. That is deep snow. <laughs> <laughs> so I've installed a um, Coplin 2.0 Stealth muffler with heat shield onto my 1999 Yamaha Kodiak 400 4x4. I bought it, this rig, uh, 10 years ago, so when it was 20 years old. And it's been reliable and I've been using it to push snow uh, every season since, so for 10 years pushing snow. So now that the rig is uh, 30 years old, it really didn't have any kind of muffler at all. Because after 30 years of use, it was literally just kind of straight piping it. So I put in also a new Kimplex uh, muffler, stock muffler. That's OEM for this uh, unit, the 400cc. I didn't quiet it down to exactly where I wanted to get it, so I bought this guy. Um, overall impressions is yes. It did quiet it down. Um, I wouldn't say as much as claimed, as in, in my opinion, you couldn't use it to not scare away wildlife, as a lot of the videos uh, seem to indicate. It definitely makes it quieter, no doubt about it. I'll run a couple decibel tests on it for you in a real world example of kind of pushing snow at about 75% uh, engine RPMs. Uh, overall, is it worth the 200 bucks? Ah, if you need it to be quieter, yes. I think you can get there with, uh, you know, I kind of put $400 worth of mufflers into this $2,000 unit. Right between that, which was $200, and this was $200. I'm literally at $400 of a $2,000 total cost. Uh, I think you can get there with a $99 little small car muffler, you know, for 1,000 cc or some of the hybrid vehicles that are running, you know, literally three, 400 cc motors in addition to their batteries. Uh, that would probably work just as well, but nonetheless, uh, here's what it sounds like. So this is at about um, 10 feet, if you walk closer, not much change to be honest. So I recorded uh, these low settings here using the NIOSH sound level meter app for my iPhone. Got it from the App Store. So at idle there that I, you just saw in the previous clip, was sitting at about 66, 65 decibels. It's peaking here now, now close to 80, 81 decibels. And that's when I revved it up to close to 100%, maybe it's between 75 and 90%, then back down to idle. All right, so it seems to be kind of idling around there at 63, 64 decibels. And again, peaking at 
close to 80 for 75% throttle, which is typically where I am when I'm pushing deep snow. The rest of the time, somewhere between 30% and 60%. Um, now, just you know, a quick Google search, you'll find average gas-powered lawnmower is around 80 to 85 decibels. Motorcycles up to 95. Interestingly enough, I looked up this quad. The closest one I could find is a 2000 uh, Yamaha Kodiak with a spec of 87 decibels. And that was at full, full throttle. Probably be a little bit under that with my current muffler setup. Uh, for every 10 decibels, it's doubling the actual noise level. So between when it's idling here at 66 and when it's peaking at 80, you know, it's 150% louder. But um, at 80 decibels, it's quite comfortable, especially with a helmet on. Don't notice that at all. Again, it's kind of like a lawnmower. A prolonged exposure, I guess, of two hours or more to that 80 decibel and up level. You may end up with um, hearing loss, but I'm pretty sure I listen to my music louder than that most of the time. So far, so good. Um, and it kind of drops there. You'll see them down to 63, 62. Car probably needs some adjustment, but there you have it. Between 64 and 80 is what I'm getting with the, uh, the Culpin Stealth Exhaust.